This tutorial will show you how to install the HFS Plus Paragon driver into a Windows operating system. This is a picture of a partition that does not have the HFS Paragon driver activated. Disk 1 represents a USB drive that is formatted for Mac. Windows does detect the drive that has been connected but is unable to read the drive, therefore it is not assigned a drive letter. This is why Mac formatted drives are not detected by Windows. A solution for this is to install the HFS Paragon driver. This video will explain how to download and install the HFS Paragon driver. To get started, download the file from the Seagate webpage. The first thing you will see is the Download Driver License Agreement. Read the license and when you are through, click on the I Accept button. Next, you will see the instructions. The first thing it says is you must have a 4Mac drive connected to the Windows machine. This is very important and must be adhered to. Read the rest of the instructions and when you have finished, click on the download button. When the hfs4win.exe comes up, save the file. After you have downloaded and saved the file, you can install it. Bring up the file and click on the run button. The language box will display. Select the language you would like to use and then click on the OK button. After you have selected the language, the product installation will begin. Click Next to continue. First, the End User License Agreement will display. Put a check in the I Accept the Terms in the License Agreement radio button, then click Next. To continue, the Customer Information page will appear. Enter the required information, then click Next. The Ready to Install the Program page comes up. If everything is correct, click Install. The program will begin installing. Because this is a medium-sized installation, it may take several minutes to complete. When it is done, the installer will ask you to restart your computer. Click the Yes button to continue. After the computer has rebooted, launch the control panel. When the control panel launches, click on the Administrative Tools. When the Administrative Tools window comes up, click on Computer Management. And lastly, Disk Management. This is a picture of a partition with the Paragon driver activated. The Mac formatted USB drive is now assigned to drive letter E. You should now have full access to the drive on your Windows machine. These are all the steps required to install the Paragon driver. For more information on the product and its features, please see the rest of the Paragon driver's tutorials.